Whoa, you're already there. I'm a bit surprised, sorry for that. Uh, today we are creating nothing else than what you've seen right at the moment. A little hologram, I think it's a pretty cool effect. If you want to know how this, this effect works, please give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please don't forget to activate the bell as well so you won't miss any video in the future. To prepare for this tutorial and to use your own footage, I would recommend recording yourself with your camera. Um, working with any device, I would recommend a smartphone because it's the easiest or you could use an iPad as well. Um, then do a screen recording while you are working and recording yourself. And uh, we use the screen record and the footage out of your cam to create this cool hologram effect in LumaFusion only. And that's the key point, so we are jumping right into LumaFusion. Welcome to LumaFusion. As you can see, we've already got our two clips in the timeline. The, the clip beneath is the recording of myself looking on the screen of the iPhone, and the other one is the screen recording while scrolling through Instagram. The first thing we have to do is to resize the Instagram footage. Therefore, double tap it, and in the frame and fit tab, change the size until it fits in your footage and you can orientate it and copy it from myself. And then go to cropping and cut away the top part of the Instagram screen recording so the viewer don't see the record button and do the same with the bottom to hide the iOS home button. And then add some edge softness with a value of 6.6 .6 or around 6.6 .6, so you get nice soft edges. Once done, switch to the color and FX tab and we will add three FX in total. One of those is a color effect and the other two are some more special effects. Uh, we will start by adding the hatched effect. You will find this effect at the bottom of the third tab. So scroll to the bottom and there it is. Tap on it to add it. And we are changing the values. So the width will be 5.7 or has to be 5.7. The sharpness has to be low with 0 0.2 and increase the blend to 0 0.95. Then go to the colors and add the color preset original. You'll find it at the top, the first one. As before, we also have to change some values. So set the brightness to 0 0.3, contrast to 2 and vibrance to 0 0.3 as well and decrease the red so we get this nice turquoise tacky look we want to about 0 0.90. As promised we have to add a third FX and this will be at the third tab like the hatched FX as well and it's called Litho Mix and you will find it somewhere around the middle. There it is at the edge work tab and we have to change the blend to 0 0.23. So now we've got this shiny, shining through, screeny look we want in the hologram. Looks pretty cool, but we want to add some shining to it and so it looks like a hologram or a screen and therefore we are going to add a overlay title by tapping on the plus with the circle around and resize it until it matches the length of your clip. Double tap to add it. Now delete the text layer in the titles tab and click on the plus with the square around it to add a shape. And we are going to change the face color and the edge color to a turquoise. 
so something around that or light blue and then we are changing the opacity of the face color to about 20 and we are changing the width of the edge color to about 45 and then we are going to add the effect the effect step so click on the water drop to add Gaussian 40 and change the radius to about 35 and then we have to jump back to the titles tab to resize the whole shape until it matches the size of our screen recording so this is pretty simple just make sure you're about the size of the screen recording you don't have to be very very precise and now we've got this shiny tacky look we wanted and this looks pretty cool now this is all you have to do let's look at it in full size in my opinion it's a great result especially if you do it in LumaFusion and it's not done in a very very professional video editing tool or a video FX tool so I think it's a great result if you try to do it yourself and you upload it to YouTube or something please write it in the comments with the video link I will watch your results and if you have any tips to add us please write it in the comments as well we will appreciate it so if you like this video please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we will see each other in the next video till then bye